why are definitions important? Just put it in the right place. To follow the right rule. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay, so if I have an account, must I always identify its element? Yes. Always. Okay, so how do I, de how do I determine what an asset is? I need to look for the keyword, which is? Resource. Resource. Okay, and then liability keyword is? Obligation. Obligation, exactly. All right, so if I know it's a resource, it's going to be an asset. If I know it's an obligation, it's going to be a liability. What's special about these two, though? Can you group them in different subcategories? Yes, you get a current asset and a non-current asset. Correct. And then a current liability and a non-current liability. Good, so long-term and short-term assets and liabilities. Yes. Right, then you've got income and expenses. Same thing again, definitions are key. The reason for the definitions is to identify what I have so I can then apply the correct rule. Assets generally create income. Expenses generally come from liabilities. It's always important to remember where the debits and credits are in terms of their balances. So the pluses are key. Obviously, you would debit the expense and you'd credit the income. Okay. Capital and joints, you should know what they are. Capital is money or assets contributed by the owner. The keyword is owner. So any contribution made by the owner will affect capital and capital is credited. Drawings is debited because you've got the D for drawings and C for, for capital. Right, it's basics. We've already looked at these. Okay, so from last week. Right, now we're going to apply this double entry system. So do you agree transactions will have two sides, a debit and a credit? You'll have two accounts that will be affected. It can be the same account. So an asset can go up and the asset can go down. Okay, it can, it can have the same effect. Right, so if I've got a transaction, the first step is to identify what is the transaction, cash or credit. If it's cash, it'll affect which accounts? Bank. Okay, and if it's credit, what accounts will it affect? Two possibilities. Credit and Or? Creditors or? Liabilities. Debtors. Oh. Okay, a creditor is a liability. Right, so you'll either have debtors or creditors, um, and then earlier we spoke about those two. Debtors arise when you do what? When I sell something to a client. Correct, and creditors? When I buy something from a supplier. Correct, okay, so accounting elements are key because you'll need to identify what they are. So creditors we know is a liability. Debtors we know is a asset. Okay, and that's the objective. The objective is to try and understand what you're dealing with. Okay. And then you look at the effect, which is the increase or decrease, which is basically what you did as part of your practice exercises. Yeah. Okay, you're identifying what they are and what the effect was before you get the debit and credit. Okay, so this you've seen before, we, we grouped transactions into cash or credit. Here you've got receipts and you've got payments for cash. That's important for a bank recon. You do, um, you do, do a bank recon in this module again so um, it is something that you are going to have to redo but it's easy and and you can get quite a lot of marks um, if you know how to do it credit buying and selling if I buy I have creditors and if I sell I have debtors okay just to put those words on this slide So buying or selling on credits. Okay, so let's see if you can still interpret transactions. You've actually done this before. It's a bit of a revision from 1501, but they cover the same thing in 1502. Okay, so this should be okay. So what am I going to do here? We can learn rules or we can apply rules. So we learn six rules and we practice applying them instead of remembering all these different scenarios. Okay, the scenario here, the owner gives a million to the business. What are you thinking about? Capital. Correct. So debit what, credit what? Capital increase. Capital increases on the credit side. Mm -hmm. And what's the other account? 
correct, Kay. And bank is an asset, so increase. Decrease. Uh, well, increase. Increase. Is correct. Common. Both increasing. Yes. Right. Next one, loan. Number two. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, Company obtains loan a loan. Is a creditor. Loan isn't a creditor. Loan is a loan. Loan is a liability. Liability. That's better. Mm. And what's happening to the liability? I get confused with when I should buy what. Okay. So why? Creditors is when you buy on credit. A loan is when you get money from the bank. Do you agree? Okay. Okay, so if you buy from um, a store and you buy on credit, do you owe the store? Yes. Okay, and if you owe the store, the store is your creditor. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. If you take out a loan from the bank, you owe the bank, but you can use that cash to buy whatever you want. Okay. Okay, so a loan is a loan where you're actually getting cash. A creditor is, is someone that gives you goods. Okay, so getting a physical item that you've bought. Okay, so you don't write liability, you would write loan, which is the liability. And the liability is being credited. And now what else are you affecting? What happened? You obtained I two million. It's bank. Yes, you're right. Why? Because bank increases because you you got a loan. Correct. Yeah. Okay, so increases your loan is in the form of cash. Your cash will affect the bank positively. All right. Next. What happens here? Okay, so you buy new assets, so assets yes. will increase. Why? Because you're buying an asset. Yes. So, asset so yeah, you've got more than you had before, more resources. Okay. And bank decreases. Yes. Okay, why? Because you're using money the check. from the bank. Yeah. Correct. Okay, so bank credited, asset debited. Good. Mm. Next. Between buying an asset with credit. Okay, so once again, asset will increase. Mm -hmm. And it's creditor, so it's a loan. No, it's a creditor. Yes, a creditor is the supplier. They would be and credited because it's a liability. Okay, going up, yes. Okay. Next. When paying a liability, bank is always credited. Okay. So. Okay, so bank will. Bank will decrease. Bank is an asset. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can't write liability. You need to identify what the liability is. Liability is the element. Lots of things are liabilities. A creditor. Yes. Okay, the creditor, which is a liability, is going to decrease or increase? Decrease. There were credits. Debit. Debit. Okay, good. Next. Bank will increase. Why? Because you're getting money from a debtor. Correct. The debtor's paying you, so the debtor will be decreasing and the bank will be increasing. Yeah, you know, debtors is an asset. Yes. Asset decrease in the credit. Okay, good. All right, next.
drawings are drawings. Bank and drawings. Okay, so bank is affected how? Negatively. Credits. Drawings? Drawings going up, debit. Yes. Okay, good. Next, sales. Cash sales are 3 million. Bank is? Increasing. Okay, good. Why did the bank increase? It's a cash sale. Correct. You made a sale. So sales is? Income. Correct. Okay. Not bad, hey? So you still have it. <laughs> the expenses. Yeah, so what's happening here? Um, it's a telephone bill. Correct. And expenses. Not expenses. Remember, you get lots of expenses. Oh, the telephone. Yes, you need to be specific so we know what the specific expense is. Okay, so just remember when you're looking at T account, you need to identify the actual account. Okay, next. Income, credit, selling on credit. Okay, so. Yeah, debtors. Why? Correct. So do you have debtors? No, you're creating them. Yes. Okay, remember debtors are created when you sell. Yep. And? The sale. Correct. Which is the income. And the income is going up or down? Going up. Correct. Okay, okay what happens here? board on account uh, stationery to the consumer bill mm -hmm. yeah. stationery you said consumer bill is it a consumer bill yeah. yes but it meets the definition of which account of an expense yes okay so that's better Okay, so stationery is consumed, so it is seen as an expense. Uh, creditors. Creditors is the liability, and if it's bought on account, the liability is going up. Good. Okay, so you've got it. Those are all the analysis. Now we need to look at process okay obviously at a financial management not financial management uh, financial accounting um, if AC 1502 level you guys are going to be focusing on this lots and lots and lots of financial disclosure okay so in 1501 you probably would have remembered you did quite a lot of journals in ledger and the trial balance was something that you even had to draw up in one of the old past papers. Um, in this module, you're actually going to be given the financial, uh, well, the blank financial statement, the templates, um, and then you are going to have to create them based on the information given the trial balance. Okay, so where are you starting? You'd be starting over here. That's where you'd be starting. 
in terms of this course. Okay, so in 1502, I'm starting at the trial balance and I'm trying to get to the state bits. That's the main bit. Okay, so it's more adjustments and, and processing the actual statements rather than um, looking at the journals and the source documents and capturing it. Okay, so that's the, that's the one step further that this module goes. But obviously we've seen tier accounts before. Okay, you were looking at the analysis for the different tier accounts. Every tier account will have date, details, folio, amount. It's just the way we record the information, that's all. Okay. Where are balances recorded? Balances are recorded on the positive side. Always on the positive okay. side. Because balances represent the account having something to start with. Okay. Right, so if the bank has something to start with, bank will be debit or credited. Debited. Debited, okay, because then you've got something to start with. Right, doesn't matter what it is, even a liability. Okay, so I want to know what balances will these accounts have. Mm. What balances will they have? Debit or credits? Okay, land and buildings, equipment and assets, so it's going to have a debit. Sales? Sales. Debit or income, so they'll have a credit. Bank overdraft? Think about it. You were showing your practice activity that you had to do. What is a bank overdraft? It's an asset. Mm -hmm. What is a bank overdraft? How would you oh, describe it's money. it? It's money that, I, that I'm basically owing to the bank. Exactly. Okay. So what is it then? It's a creditor. Correct. Stationery is an expense. Good. So, debit. Yes. Then, loan from a bank um, is, a, is a liability. So, credit. Okay. Debtor will be debited. Why? Because it's a debtor. No, a debtor is a. It's a client. Asset. Okay, that's why. Okay, so you first identify the elements. Okay, vehicles? Okay, vehicles is an asset. Mm -hmm. Creditor? Um, creditors is a liability. Yes. Credit. Okay, and last Interest one? Interest income is an income. So? Credits. Yes, okay. So those are just balances. So remember, it doesn't matter what you've got. You need to identify what it is. Okay, because the question will start here. That's why this is important. Okay, because when you look at past papers, past papers will start with a trial balance and you'll be asked to post from the trial balance to the financial statements. Okay, so I see you printed out those copies. That's great.